welcome around the world, wherever you are joining us from. This is Weather Forum. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. On today's edition of the Weather Forum, as usual, we are going to have a statement of purpose. We will recap uh, the events that unraveled in last week's meeting. Um, that is very important for us to remind those who then joined us last week uh, to know what, what transpired. And uh, also for those of us who were here, it's also an opportunity to refresh your memories on what we talked about. And that will zoom us into the main agenda for today. It's a packed show actually today on our community network updates. Mercy is poised and on standby. Um, will take us through some ecosystem highlights and uh, uh, as we all know, um, Catalyst Fund 12 uh, submission deadline has passed. It was earlier today, 11 UTC. And uh, we understand or we know by now everybody has been able to successfully submit their proposals and we are excited about that. We are with you, we are praying, we are hoping that you receive funding this time round. Messi will take us through some more deadlines so that we can um, update ourselves as far as that is concerned. A uh, later part of the show, one fund closes, another fund is also running. We are dedicating a lot of time for SNET. Uh, just as we did last week by presenting to you the proposal, WADA, um, was putting in van 12. Today as well, we are going to present to you the proposal that WADA will be submitting in DF4. And here, Messi again, uh, will be on the beat and he's going to take us through. Then we will give you the chance to ask your questions, your contributions, anything on your mind. And we encourage you to take active part and this particular section, as you have always been. Uh, we are expecting a very special person today to join us to answer all your questions as far as um, Singularity Net and DF4 uh, funding round is concerned. And later part of the show, uh, we want to showcase some of the proposals that we have already submitted in Fund 12. And tonight, Bernard, our South Africa have lead, or let's say Johannesburg have lead, is also on standby to deliver um, one of the projects that they submitted this funding round. It's an interesting show, it's an interesting proposal that is coming up with. So stay tuned, be with us the next 50 or so minutes. Let's have an interactive session here on the water forum. Before we come your way with all these exciting uh, piece of information, we always have to remind ourselves what um, brings us together, what motivates us to do what we do. And quickly, let's zoom into a statement of purpose. Uh, our mission today, um, uh, who is up to do this for us today? Um, uh, Laurentine, are you in a position to read that statement of purpose in English? Hello, Laurentine. We might be able to get Jean T to do it. So Jean T, is, is, is Jean -T uh, if if Laurentine is not available. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Oh, now we yes, can hear. Yes, Laurentine, uh, please do us the honors by reminding us why we gather in English. And right after that, Abel is joining us from Guma Hub. Abel will also do us the honors in French. Laurentine, take away from here. Thank you. Okay. Statement of purpose a mission to elevate underrepresented groups through the application of technology and invest in more 
equitable future, in a more equitable future. Thank you. Thank you, Laurentin. That was very audible. Abel from Goma, if you can hear me, please uh, read to us a statement on purpose in French. Déclaration de but, notre mission, promouvoir les groupes sous-représentés grâce à l'application de la technologie et investir dans un avenir plus équitable. Thank you, Abel. Next slide, please. Okay, so um, as I said earlier, we have to remind ourselves uh, what transpired here on Weather Forum last week. And to do that, um, our very own Edufwa is ready. Edufwa, take it away from here. Tell us what we missed last week. Hello, everyone. So last week, we said that um, for Catalyst Fan 12, Catalyst Fan 12 had launched on April 26th. Last week, we said that the deadline for proposing, submitting, sorry, submitting new proposals was on the 13th of May. Then there were three additional days to fine tune proposals, which I believe has already passed now. We also said that if um, you wanted to stay up to date with things that happen in the Catalyst ecosystem, more about reviewers and many others, um, it was important to join the main town hall, which is on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. UTC, and then Catalyst African Town Hall bi-weekly on Fridays at 6 p.m. UTC. We also said that um, Singularity Net, which focuses on decentralized AI, was in its fourth round of funding. The funding round began on the 29th of April, and the proposal submission deadline is May 20th. We also spoke about Intersect MBO last week, and we said that um, it serves as the membership vehicle for Cardano, focusing on the human side of on-chain governance. We also said that it's currently in the process of formalizing its DREP education, and that in Q4, that in December, there will be a constitutional convention. And leading up to that event, there will be regional workshops as well. So last week we had Messi speak to us about one weather global proposal that um would be of benefit to everyone and um, including especially alliances, which is the outreach initiative led by Megan and Samuel. And we said that it aims to build strong local relationships and communities. And then um it also targets expanding our reach across Africa. We also said that we are committed to assisting people with reading um, and providing feedback and then also giving opportunity to discuss proposals in the coming weeks like we'll be doing today. Yes, that's basically a summary of what went on last week. Thank you. Back to you, Samu. Thank you, Edufa. Um, That was pretty much concise, but um, I believe you touched on almost all the important things that we said last week. Thank you very much. Um, quickly. There's a lot of things to do today, so we are not wasting time. Let's quickly um, have our ecosystem highlights. Uh, Messi is on top of this now, and without wasting my time, I'll invite Messi to take us through what we have um, as far as our ecosystem is concerned. Messi, take it away. All right. Um, so very quickly, uh, we talked about... Um, uh, you know, as uh, Edufa mentioned, we've been talking quite a bit about Catalyst and um, ESNET. Uh, so the first point actually is voting and general timeline. Um, so in terms of Catalyst, as we all know, and as was previously mentioned by Samuel, um, the, uh, the deadline for submission and finalization is over. Reviewing will be starting shortly. And then for uh, deep funding, uh still open um there is no sort of clear cut submission and finalization space uh, a stage is so, all uh, bunched up together and the next deadline is going to be on the 20th of may which is coming monday 
Um, after this section, I am going to quickly run us through uh, the, the defunding platform to show how easy it is to put on uh, to put in proposals. So, if any of you have any um, um, any proposals that you want to put in, please go ahead and do that. We also uh, want to uh, talk about some DREP educational workshops that is going to take place. Um, we will be bringing you more details, but I'm happy to inform everyone here that uh, what I was chosen as a DREP educational provider, uh, we have a small grant uh, that we'll be using to develop workshop materials and we'll be um, uh, sharing that. The next issue I want to talk about is there is a deadline for Catalyst Reviewer registration I believe, uh, Samuel, can you help me with that deadline? Um, it's uh, 19th of this uh, this month, 19th May, so a few a few days ahead, uh, ahead, ahead of us. Yeah, so if anybody uh, wants to register to be a reviewer, we talked quite a bit about reviewers uh, last week. Sure. Please um, uh, make sure that you are re registered by Sunday. Uh, Catalyst Working Groups uh, has been really uh, ongoing, very, um, uh, very engaging. Uh, so far, we've already had uh, events in Ghana, in Kenya, in South Africa, in Goma. We are still yet to have uh, the WADA online one, uh, which will be on the 13th and the 20th of June. So that's coming up, we'll be sharing more information and also a hybrid one uh, in Cameroon, which will be on the 3rd, 4th, uh, it's the 4th, 5th and 6th of June. Um, as I said, SNET uh, submission and finalization is fast approaching. Um, we will talk about that in the next session and then intersect, intersect, intersect. Intersect is a human aspect of on-chain governance on, on um, uh, in Cardano. So please sign up. Um, uh, there are still some finalizations that is being worked through in terms of membership fees and things like that. And this is actually something that as a, a, a group or as a network, we need to discuss. But in the meantime, sign up, join their Discord uh, and engage. Uh, yeah, so for now, I think that that is, uh, that, that is all. And thanks for that. Um, a little I want to add about the Catalyst Reviewer deadlines is that, as I've already stated, um, it is on the 19th of May. Um, we spoke more about it last week, and we are asking you to uh, join and register and review the projects aside um, the fact that you'd be hugely incentivized for the job that you do, it also uh, gives you the opportunity to read um, people's proposals and build experiences through which who knows you can gather more information around these things and uh, also putting some proposals in front of the and the rest of the funds. If you need any help, you can contact any of us. Uh, Messi can help you register myself. Um, I've seen a fear the Accra Hub is, is, is on this call. She actually uh, mentored me and helped me register. I think in fact, 10. Um, she's that great. You can contact her as well. She'll help you. Uh, please register and uh, um, you will not regret it. Okay. So quickly, um, uh, let us zoom into the SNET. We are talking about SNET today. And as I said, like we did last week, we need to also uh, submit to you as stakeholders the proposal uh, WADA is putting forth in the DF4. And again, able and capable Messi. It's ready to take us through that. And right after that, we'll open the forum for you to answer and um, submit your questions uh, before we hand over to Bernard to showcase the proposal I have put through in Catalyst Fund 12. So, Messi, again, I come to your desk. Uh, what is up for DF4? 
Um, so I am going to, we are still, uh, because as we all know, uh, Catalyst really <laughs> took a whole lot from us. Um, so we are now actually still figuring out what we are putting into fund um, uh, DF fund 12. But I want to take this opportunity to quickly show everybody how easy it is if you have any AI, decentralized AI ideas at all. Um, you know, please uh, don't be shy, come up um, and let's uh, figure out if we can put in um, uh, any proposal. It's unfortunate that uh, we are not able to show you any uh, proper examples. We did put one in um, uh, during the previous round, which was a test round. Uh, and we did share details about that um, a, a while back. Uh, here is for those, I don't know if you remember, but this is it. We'll not go through that right now. But I want to, I did do a little prep that I want to share with everybody. Um, so first of all, when you go to the deep funding uh, uh, website, uh, can somebody share a link um, in, the, in the chat? We've done that in previous um, in previous um, uh, meetings. But when you go, the first thing that you need to do is to, if you haven't already um, uh, signed up, you need to sign up or register. And then thereafter, every time you go in, you just have to log in, you have all your information. As you can see, this is the previous proposal that we put in. And this is the new one that I tried to develop this morning, just because I wanted to I show everyone uh, what, 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 you know, how to, or how easy it is actually um, to put in a proposal. So once you've done it, it gives you a chance. It's much like drafting Catalyst. It will give you a chance to save if you don't want to submit it as complete. And then when you come back, all that you have to do is to press the edit button and then it will open up. So uh, when you start uh, putting in an application, this is, uh, you know, you go to the funding website, you've um, signed up, you've registered, and then you click submit a proposal. This is what will open up. The round is there. Um, so you choose that, and then you have to put in um, um, uh, your the, the title of your uh, proposal. You put in your summary. And then you put a nice picture and um, you click continue. And these are the various options that you can put your proposal under and all that, you know, you have, if you want more information, you click this I and it will open up a pop-up uh, window. Then it will tell you what, uh, what, you know, where to put your proposal. So you just have to choose. For the purposes of this demonstration, I, I put in new projects. Um, and here, as you can see, it's a, a hundred, a, you know, like a 1 million USD in Ajax. Uh, but if, at the max that, I think somebody asked this question before, that was the max. So they have all their max here. So for the new projects, your budget cannot be more than 150 USD and so on. Um, yeah, so you have to uh, put in, you know, fill this in. How will your project contribute to the growth of the AI platform? Obviously, just like Catalyst, they want to know how this will um, uh, uh, benefit the AI, uh, you know, singularity net. The, the problem that you are trying to solve, the solution, and then they give you this chance, 10,000 characters to really talk about uh, your proposal. I need to remind us all, that a set of, you know if it's optional then that's okay but if it's not optional the thing that is different from um catalyst is that you know catalyst you have the whole page um or the whole submission form that you can you know play with over here you have to fill certain portions before it will let you go to the next um you know like the next step as you see up here, there are steps. So if you haven't uh, filled in all the required sections for say setup or proposal content, it will not allow you to go to uh, milestones and budget. So just bear that in mind. Um, yeah, so pretty much, you, as I said, you have a lot of um, 
uh, space to put in your that long form description for your proposal. Uh, over here, they'll ask you if you did some market research. Um, you can also say no, but if you say yes, then you know it brings up uh, additional window. You have to talk about your team. Um, and then, you know, these are sort of, um, I don't want to go too, too much into it, but, you know, these are sort of yes or no questions. Um, they do uh, give you an option to talk about whether your project will be open sourced or closed sourced. So you have to uh, bear that in mind. Options, you know, videos, as we know from Catalyst, it's always a good thing to... Um, um, put in videos that tends to get um, a, a quite a bit of engagement. They have this section that I find very interesting in terms of whatever proposal that you are putting in, whether you want to do a revenue uh, uh, a share. In Catalyst, we don't have any, you know, there is nothing like that, but over in SNET, you have an option. Of course, you can say none. You don't want to share any of the, you know, uh, what do you call it, any of the uh, the, the outputs, you know, whether it's a token, whether it's API calls, uh, whatever it is, you don't want to share. But if you do say that uh, yeah, you want to share, all these has different requirements uh, that I don't want to go too much into. You can decide that whatever you're going to create, you're going to share the IP with SNET. So they do have that, um, um, uh, what do you call it, that opportunity for you to say that, hey, you know, I'm not taking all this money. I'm going to build something and it's 100% for me. I'm going to share all the benefits with the community. Um, and, you know, uh, hopefully you get more buying from the community, right? One thing that I realized when we participated in the uh, test net is the fact that they actually require you, in addition to putting in the proposal, you need to be very clear about what the AI service is. Right. So um, please find out more about that. So you have your pro your proposal that you are doing the project, but they want a clear. OK, this is how I'm going to use AI in my proposal. So pretty much uh, that is what this is all about. Um, or something yeah so over here yeah let me show you can actually go use you know like maybe uh, maybe a partner has already built an ai service you can take that uh, and use it or you can create a new ai service so that's all possible and um, as you can see from the previous uh, uh, page you can actually have multiple ai uh, services another thing that snet defunding does is that right off the bat because um you have said that you are going to use an ai service you have to it is an automatic requirement for you to dedicate some of the budget that they give you to do API calls and hosting. So basically you are required to do an um, uh, AI, you know, an AI service. And for you to be able to do that AI service properly, you know, you have to have APIs. I don't know if we all understand APIs, but APIs is more like, think oh, you've gone to a restaurant, you are sitting on your table, the kitchen is over there, the, uh, what do you call it? The, the person, um, that will bring you your menu, you know, the server. Those are your API, you know, think of that as your API because they are the ones that will go to SNET and then pick up whatever you need from their their, their service and so on. So uh, they will charge you right off the bat. I think it is 50, but I think it's 7 or 12%. I, uh, let me see, 50 will be, 10 will be 5 uh, I believe, is it 25%? Um, I need to, yeah, perfect. So it's over here. Right off the bat, they take 25% of the requested amount. So when you are doing your budget, please remember that 25% of the budget will go straight to... I'm hoping 25%. Yes, 
of the budget will go back to this API call. So be careful about that. Be mindful of that. Is that your question, Samuel? Um, I was I was just thinking 25% of the funding amount is too much. Uh, yeah, that's a discussion for uh, another <laughs> another day. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so so basically, and then you start putting in your milestones, right? This one, because I didn't want to uh, put in a lot of milestones just because this was a demonstration, I put in just one milestone. And this is the rest, because originally I had put in 50,000. Um, it just, um, you know, I, I had to put this in. Originally I made it 2,000 USD and it wasn't allowing me to proceed, right? Because I hadn't added more milestones. So before you can go to the next section, they, they will, you will have to, whatever you have said that you are requesting, if it's say 50,000 USD, all your milestone, including the API calls, will to total 50,000. So you continue. And then this is where you can shine, talk about your team, and so on and so forth. You have here, you can invite uh, team members to join. Um, you continue. And oh, did I submit? Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to submit because it, that doesn't contain anything. Because once you submit, it becomes visible to everyone. So I'm not going to submit yet because I want to, um, um, you know, do this properly. So that is it for now. Um, so I'll click here, finish later, and I can always come back and finish it. And I'll stop sharing and give it back to someone. Um, thank you very much, Macy. Um, that was high level presentation, um, very detailed, um, taking us through uh, the projects one after the other, uh, the requirements and everything. Um, that's that's very comprehensive. I guess everybody on the call has at least had um, some level of understanding as to how um, the funding operates. Um, we now invite questions on all that has been said on the call and especially what Messi has just um, taken us through. Please, if you have a question, you can raise your hand or maybe put your question in the chat. Uh, Messi is here and uh, hopefully she'll be able to provide you the answers that you need. I'll start with the questions. Uh, Messi, is it first? Um, it looks like every idea that you have, if you want to submit in uh, defunding, uh, AI has to be integrated in it. Am I right? Yes. Um, and do have... I don't know, do we have um, Ubio here yet? Um, Ubio was going to drop by yes, and um but i don't think um he's he's oh of, he's not here yet okay yeah yet. that's fine maybe when he, yes when he yeah. comes later we can address some of these things if you yeah. are not in the capacity to you know answer some of these questions that come up i i can actually answer i just don't want to be the only one talking um yeah. um so yeah every proposal uh, that you put in, uh, they want to make sure that you actually have um, uh, like uh, uh, like the tech behind it, right? Um, and do they have categories? Maybe with like... the exception of, let's say, uh, the marketing uh, section and some of uh, the other, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, the categories that doesn't really require a tech but if you say that it's a project whether you know wh whatever it is you need to show that you are considering an ai um an ai aspect do they have categories like uh, uh in, in in catalyst or is it just uh, uh one angle where you have to just put in any proposals and integrate ai so as I showed during the presentation, there are uh, categories and um, you have the option to actually read up on the categories and put it in at the appropriate place. 
Are people in a position to submit maybe proposals that they have already submitted in Fan 12 into this deep funding as well? It depends. It tends to be sort of the same community. So, um, I mean, you can you can do it if it has a strong AI a comp a a component. Um, but does anybody else wants to talk? Um, Bernard, do you have any experience on the deep funding uh, platform or IFIA or Lucas is here? Hi, Lucas. Nice to have you back. Hi, Lucas. Frederick, uh, John T is here. Hello. Uh, can I say something? Yeah, Bernard, go ahead. Ah, as long as you can hear me, thank you. Yesterday, uh, I attended, uh, it is deep funding for academy. It was after the Project Catalyst Town Hall. It was a breakout room. I attended that ses session. The same question we asked, that do all proposals have to include AI? And then they said no. You can, they gave example that sometimes you can uh, concentrate on, was it onboarding or marketing for SNET? So I think uh, uh, that is what I got from them because I really requested them to say, where do we get that AI formal training so that when we apply for projects there, at least we are within what they have. We can use what they have. And uh, they sent me a link for this, uh, what is called Deep Funding for Academy. I'll just share with anyone here. It's from Adamio. They train you how to do that. That's all what I can say for now. Please put a link in the chats uh, for um, anybody who has interest in it to um, check up on it and get more information. Uh, we still have some one or two minutes to receive questions. If there are questions, please uh, uh, kindly send it through. Or while you prepare for your questions, we don't want to waste time. You can always put your questions in the chat. I guess quickly, um, uh, let us zoom into the next item on the bill. And here we are talking about um, uh, our fan 12 proposal showcase. Uh, as I stated earlier on, yes, the uh, deadline for submission of proposals was earlier today. I mean, no, uh, a number of you have submitted proposals into uh, the funding round. Uh, the This week and the subsequent few weeks, we are going to dedicate time for our community to showcase their uh, proposals that they put in fund 12, we can help for promotion purposes and things and make sure um, such proposals have uh, a lot of presence as we all wait to go through the other critical stages. And at the end of the day, hope that most of our proposals will receive funding. Um, Obio is here now. Can we throw the question back to Obio? Obio, welcome. We we're looking for you earlier on to answer a few questions. Uh, welcome. Thank you. So sorry for coming in late. Yeah, just one outstanding question. Just one minute to answer, and then we uh, continue the program. We were actually uh, contemplating if uh, a proposal that has been submitted in Catalyst Fund 12 can at the same time be submitted in um, deep funding round four. And you uh, being and expecting these things, uh, uh, we want you to help with that direction. Um, if if uh, Give us clarity on that actually. Please. Okay, so yeah, that's a very beautiful question. I think with respect to this, um, the problem may lie more on the deep 
in the Cardano side if it gets funded than the defunding side. However, um, what I would say is it depends on how they align because projects can be similar but not the same, right? So um, uh, there is a focus in deep funding for AI related um, projects. So um, likelihood is that even if someone put in the same project, the person must have aligned it much more um, differently in order to uh, align it with deep, uh, deep funding's mission and objective, which is extremely important. So I, one of the things I keep saying is in deep funding, don't you just can't put in the proposals just like that. You have to align it with the objective. And so the objective is to make sure that you are um, you are helping to advance the Hello, Bill. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, so even when your proposal is a little bit different, um, you still have to align it to that goal. So, uh, so I, I, I don't. So far as your pro, so the project can be similar, but it may. Uh, so far as it's not the same, uh, there is no problem, and I don't think it can ever be the same because the two projects are, have different goals. Deep funding wants to advance um, the AI marketplace. So whatever um, uh, solution or project you're putting, you just have to somehow show the connection, how it either advances it directly or indirectly. So once that is done, I think that makes it a little bit different from exactly what has been put in from, uh, from the Cardano. So, so far as it's similar, but not the same, then yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, thanks for the clarity. Um, are you able to take us through the key timelines for DF4 uh, submission date and uh, a general overview of what to expect after submitting of proposals? And you can also tie in with people who want to uh, be uh, reviewers in uh, DF4. Um, what are we supposed to do? Very nice question. Um, so uh, this is what I would say. Uh, I have the timelines. Um, here. Yeah, so the first thing is, um, depending on your time, the the proposal ends in three days, about 15 hours or so. So yeah, so just calculate that. I think uh, to some people that's Saturday, if that's Sunday, to some people that's Monday morning. So um, what I would advise is try to submit um, by Saturday so that you can have one day to um, go through it. I would also advise that one submits on Saturday for two things. One is so that you have time to go through it. But secondly, is that um, in case there are technical issues, because let's be frank, we are actually using a new platform. And because it's a new platform, it's actually different, right? So uh, people have uh, now, uh, I, I people are so far uh, uh, complaining that some, some people have been able to get some bugs, some people have been able to get, um, some people have discovered bugs that they're trying to uh, submit. So in case you have those technical issues, you can easily reach out to someone and then it will be resolved for you. So your, your project it will not be on that last second you're trying to push it in and there's no one to call. So if you can make it by Saturday, I would really appreciate that so that in case you do have any issues, you can easily, um, someone can look at it and then get back to you. Also, so that, if there are any feedback, you can at least still have a day to uh, to enjoy community feedback, which can as well um, as be as uh, helpful to you. Uh, next is um, the, the the round, right? So yeah. so it ends twenty third of June by twelve UTC, and then we are going to have preparation um, a preparation period, and that's going to be from April uh, twenty two, uh, twelve o'clock till. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, so it ends um May twentieth. Sorry, I was uh, I was skipping mixing that. The submission period ends May twentieth, twelve o'clock UTC, and then review period starts immediately, and ends on June tenth by twelve UTC. Then voting period starts immediately on the tenth of June, and voting period ends. It, so it's always a one week um voting period, and then uh by it ends on the seventeenth of June. By 23rd of June, just a week after, 
you're getting the, uh, is it a week or less, the results are going to be announced. So, um, so yeah, that is it. If you want to be a reviewer, uh, so uh, there was a link that was out uh, for, for people that want to be expert reviewers. Um, so if you want to be expert reviewers, you need to fill that link. I don't, I'll try to see if I can have access to that link and share it with um, with Madam Messi. Uh, yeah, so there's, there's a call, there's a link for uh, people that want to be uh, committee reviewers. However, uh, two things are extremely important. One, you should try to give um, reviews uh, on like comment discussions on existing projects. It does two things to you. If you are giving Automatically, Hello. you're, yeah, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, so I said, uh, uh, there's, there's something called ex, uh, uh, expert review and community review. So expert reviewers, are, um, there's a link for that. There's been a call for community, rev uh, for community rev uh, expert reviewers. So um, I will send the link to Madam, uh, Madam Mercy. However, the second one, which is community reviewer, is even much more important. Uh, to be a community reviewer, what you need to do is um, just go to any proposal right now and put your reviews, your comments, and then reviews and all of that. Yeah, the best ones are going to be given prizes, but more so is that the fact that it affects your voting. So when you want to vote, if you've been commenting, giving reviews and all of that, it will improve, increase the amount of vote by a factor of one, two, three, depending on how engaged you've been on that platform. So please try to engage because it will improve your vote. So let's say you have um, your vote is supposed to be ten. It will now be a multiple of two. It, so if you have, you, you can it now it can now become twenty votes and all that. So it's very very important. Thank you very much, Obio. Um... Thank you for the clarity. It was good you joined. Earlier, before you um, joined the, the call, Messi ably took us through the nitty gritties of submitting proposals. Now you make us aware we have just around three dates approximately for anybody who has interest to submit proposals in DF4. Um, people on this call, let me say that Obio is uh, vastly experienced in defunding and AI as a subject matter. Um, if you have any issues trying to um, uh, get to submit uh, proposals, this funding round or any related issues, like you said, uh, just contact somebody. And Obio, I guess... Um, you may be available. I know you are a very busy man. I know. But if anybody wants to contact you for further information about this, are they welcome? Yes, yes, please. They are. And in, especially if you are having any technical issue, please just don't fail to put out. I, um, I would make sure that it's being responded to in, in a, like almost immediately if you do for have any technical issue. But if you do need any other assistance, please reach out as well. Please give us the hotlines. How do we reach out to you? Oh uh, yeah, it, uh, mostly on Discord. Um, yeah. Can you put Let's... um some link or something in the chat so that yeah. people can see? Yeah. Thank you very much, Obi. Thank you very much. And guys, like I said, let's take the discussion um further from this call. If you have any challenges regarding this funding round and AI in general, Obi is the best person I recommend. Uh, contact him and get all your problems solved. Thank you, Bill. Uh, quickly to our next item on the bill. I already started talking about it. We want to showcase some of the proposals that we have submitted in Fund 12. And today, to do as the honest, we have a uh, man, Bernard, on the beat. He is the Johannesburg Hub Leach. Earlier in the week, he shared with me this particular project. And uh, interestingly, uh, it aligns with the proposal that Water Global um, put in Vantour as well regarding our hub outreach and onboarding program. So it was going to complement it and um, it was great. So uh, Bernard is here. He wants to take us through that project. And 
let's see how it goes. Bernard, please do this in approximately 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, greetings, everyone. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to present one of the proposals that we have in Johannesburg. The first thing I want to say is normally after today, proposals are going to go through a filtering exercise. You can correct me if I'm wrong or right. Some of the proposals we have put in there, if there are certain key elements that we missed out or whatever, I believe they will be filtered out. That is what I discovered in Fund 11. So the most best time to be confident with what you have proposed is when it has gone through the filtering. And then from there, it has been allocated for some people to do community reviews. And then from that side, then you can start uh, promoting it to the community, to the Katano community. So I will do this for two reasons. I'll present what I have with confidence that even if it's filtered out, maybe uh, some of you who are here, they can also find alternatives to help us in Johannesburg. Another option could be maybe get others, you can point us to other source of funds that can help us here in Johannesburg. So I'll try to, be, to do this in 10 minutes. So I will run a presentation, which is three. It will summarize basically uh, what we are doing. Can I share my screen? Please do. Have you ever wondered about... Do you hear sound from my computer? Sure. Sure, it's loud and clear okay. from my side. And if there is sound, uh, let's Cardano start here. presence in your local crypto events. Or perhaps you're curious about the infrastructure that supports its operations. Sit back and relax as we delve into the strategic plan for Cardano's growth and expansion. Imagine a world where Cardano is a household name, where its presence at local crypto events is as expected as the sunrise. That's the vision we're striving towards. The first step in this journey is the expansion of our Johannesburg Resources Center. We intend to increase our office space to accommodate up to 40 individuals, creating a hub for Cardano enthusiasts and students alike. We also plan to enhance our technological capabilities by procuring 20 high-performance PCs and laptops. This investment will not only reduce outsourcing costs, but also increase our operational efficiency. And to ensure that our operations never skip a beat, we're investing in a five kilovolt solar inverter system. This will provide us with uninterrupted power and internet access, overcoming the infrastructure challenges often faced by IT graduates in South Africa. But a strategic plan is nothing without community engagement. We're at the forefront, establishing community representatives to facilitate a wide range of Cardano activities and work opportunities. We're also committed to providing accessible research and development activities reaching out to potential enthusiasts and expanding our reach. Trust and accountability are integral to our operations. Our partnerships with Cardano communities, educational institutions and businesses are a testament to our commitment and reliability. Financial operations are meticulously overseen by top technologies, PT Lutitid, and Women in Move Solutions, PT Lalted, ensuring transparency and efficiency in resource allocation. We're not just talking the talk, We've been walking the walk. Our approach has been validated through sustained implementation at a smaller scale for at least a year. Our team is equipped with extensive experience in software development and technical skills, ensuring successful deployment and management of projects. Through collaborations with esteemed institutions and proficiency across various programming languages, we're committed to maintaining high standards. Our training in Cardano related skills and certifications position us as competent contributors to the Cardano ecosystem. Our track record in organizing successful events is a reflection of our capability in event management and community engagement. We're dedicated to fostering the growth and development of Cardano communities through personal investment and resource allocation. We strive to provide value for money. 
Our initiatives aim to promote Cardano's products and services among tertiary students and local events, enhancing its visibility and credibility. By fostering partnerships with educational institutions, we're creating opportunities for collaboration and integration within the South African ecosystem. We're championing the transition from Web 2 to Web 3 using the Cardano blockchain, fostering innovation and technological advancement. By creating a future market for Cardano products and services, we're stimulating economic growth and development within the ecosystem. In conclusion, our strategic plan is a story of growth and expansion, a story of community engagement and trust, a story of commitment and value for money. It's a story of Cardano's journey into the mainstream, and we invite you to be a part of it. Right, uh, from this side, we go to CardanoAfrica.live, see the events that we have done. So this is the Catalyst Working Group that we closed now a week ago. So here is the attendance. The attendance was so big. We actually had half of the people we couldn't bring to the event. We have another, uh, what you call it, sub-office in Northwest that has uh, uh, brought in a lot of people like this. So we had to hire even a taxi which uh, took about 15 people to bring here. That shows how growth we are. And then you can see our activities. These are the catalyst research graphs that show from fund two to fund 14, which were done by the catalyst communities you see. Then below here, I want you to see where we are operating from. It's a one office, and we have been using this office for three years. So that is the first resource limitation that we have. And then and now we have got Northwest. Northwest, they are using a library. So you can see it's a, also a big community in Northwest. They are using a library. And you can see they are sharing two computers. And they, on, CIP, on this Catalyst Working Group, most of the activities we managed to do them and complete using WhatsApp due to lack of computers, to lack of laptops, uh, and then this data challenge. So you can see there it is, uh, it speaks for itself. And if you see, this is uh, what we have done. We did also about four weeks back, the Catalyst Africa Town Hall event. It was well attended, uh, we booked, so we are booking most of these events and then uh, again, everything we plan it and execute it from one office. We want water to expand here, not only water. We have got a lot of other communities, Atala Prisms, uh, Kimba Labs, and they, all of them, they also want to come to South Africa. So we need, when you come here and we are running your activities, whatever activity you have, you want to expand it to South Africa, you must find a decent office with offices and you can execute and run, unlike at the moment, the limitations that we have. Uh, so here is another, you can see from 2024, 2023, 2022, all our events, uh, they are well attended. Now we have got four schools. And then uh, out of these four schools, we have had more than 100 students that is why when you see this uh, the whole almost 24 students came to this event to show that these schools are also very serious uh, all this you see all these are high school uh, they are finishing high school and uh, they uh, are joining here so two things number one the resources and infrastructure we are proposing, we asked for Cardano or the Catalyst, you people who are going to vote to help us expand these resources so that we have at least three offices and then we have a bigger boardroom. And then uh, whatever, whether we are running water events, uh, whatever we are running IOG, whatever events, we have got our own internal resources uh, the current now when we are renting, there's one challenge. 
we procure Cardano resources, some of the things. Where do we put them? So that is a, another thing. The last thing I want to talk about here is pertaining the local events. Uh, the local events, we have got a crypto fest that keeps running annually, which is run by this lady here. Uh, you see here, uh, this lady here, Sonia, has been running Bitcoin events in South Africa and it is being sponsored by banks, by big exchanges uh, for 10 years. Uh, Sonia is a one of us, is one of our Cardano members. And uh, he is requesting that we attend these events and become a key stakeholder sponsor here. Uh, we have Charles here in this as one of the key presenters. You will see Charles here, he's always there, there he is. He has presented to this whole big South African uh, crypto community. And then they are always looking forward uh, to Cardano being one of the best because they said Cardano is a very big blockchain. They would really love to have Cardano here, even if we can get to these events and then begin to teach these people and eliminate the misconceptions they have about Cardano. So the website is there. If you want to see the website for this, for the different events they have done, uh, it's very, very, very impressive. You can see the numbers. It, they are, it's an international attendance. So what we want is if we are funded on this project, we are going to go to these events which are local, which are very big and prestigious, where banks, industries are there. We are not going to go there as women in move or as a Cardano Africa life. We are going to go there as Cardano and have one big desk where WADA, WIMS, at Catala Prism, IOG, FMP, all of them are there as one. And then we also we want to be one of the key sponsors so that on their key sponsors for crypto here, Cardano is there. So that is our proposal. If you would like to uh, vote for us, thank you so much. We really appreciate. Uh, here is the number on idea scale. Hoping this is not filtered out. Uh, it is 122249 on idea scale. Uh, it is Cardano, Johannesburg, Resource Center, and Events. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bernard. Um, as I stated earlier, this was a great um, uh, proposal. He earlier on show we mean we wanted uh, what is input I read through, and I thought it was mm. uh, it didn't need much to be done. Um, kudos to you guys in South Africa, um, led by you, Bernard, and uh, all your team and the great stuff you are doing. Like I said, this complements with um, what is outreach uh, uh, proposal. And uh, yes, South Africa, interestingly, is also one of the um, hotspots we are considering once we go through funding. So I guess we are going to work. Thank you. Well, we are going to work um, uh, closely together. Uh, of Thank you very much, of funding. Um, it's already three past the top of the hour. This has been our show. Uh, it's been very informative. It's been very interactive. Thank you very much. Um, as I said, from next week, we are dedicating uh, the weather forum to um, people um, showcasing their proposals, just as Ben and Stan. Um, a Google form was uh, put in the uh, in the WhatsApp chat. If you want to uh, showcase your proposal, please fill that form, and you can have your day. Uh, the 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 rest of the weeks um, roundtable. If anybody has something to say, let's do this in one or two minutes, and we can bring today's uh, weather forum to an end. Mercy, you have something to say. 
Um, thanks everyone for making the time. Today, unfortunately, we couldn't have as much French uh, translation as we would have liked. Uh, we are um, actually going to start um, getting, uh, you know, like formal French translation. We have uh, Laurentine here. So Laurentine, uh, well, look out for our um, <laughs> our messaging in terms of you know, getting proper, consistent uh, French translations on these calls. Um, yeah, again, thank you, everyone. Um, uh, sorry about some of the typos on some of the slides. Um, we will uh, do better next time. So thank you, everyone. Um, that is all for me, from me. Okay, so that's our show. Um, yes, we cannot uh, stop thanking you. Uh, special mentions. Thank you, Obio, for joining us in all the um, deep updates that you brought away. Thank you, Bernard, for uh, that excellent presentation. Uh, thank you, Abel, for reading our statement of purpose, even at a short notice. Thank you, Laurentine, for doing the English version. Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, until same time next week, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good evening. But we can continue the conversation. We are on LinkedIn, we are on WhatsApp, we are on X and all the social media platforms. Let's take the conversation from here and uh, continue from there as well. And yeah. Good evening uh, and yeah, one last thing. Uh, right from now, um, we need to start prepping our videos. Uh, Bernard, uh, that was an amazing video. Sure. Um, it would be good if it has sort of more local pictures, right? I think that that would make it connect a bit more. So I don't know if you'll be able to redo. I think the content is fantastic. Um, but let's see if we can localize the pictures Thank a you. bit more. I'll do that. Yeah, and Thank then, um, yeah, this is uh, to everyone. I see that somebody is asking in the chat uh, for a link to the proposal. Yeah, I think that yeah. the way that we can all support one another is to give kudos, um, you know, read through proposals. Um, let's Thank give you. kudos. Uh, probably what we need to do is, I believe someone started a spreadsheet uh, whereby, um, you know, listing sort of all the network proposals. I think that um we should figure out maybe we can continue that discussion in the yes. socials as 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 uh, as mentioned but yeah let's support one another's uh, uh, proposal it, it makes all of us stronger all yes, right and, and that reminds me um people we have uh, we are uh, working with uh, google sheets which we are going to share with all our license hub please when you get it um, as many proposals as you put in uh, there is a part to fill it, the title of the proposal, um, the applicant and all such information, just fill them. And let's see how we can help each other uh, receive funding at the end of the day, because that is the purpose why we are all here. Okay, thank you very much. Um, see you next week. Good evening.